little bit on so I'm trying to clarify a few things <clears throat> and then I'll walk you through them so if you remember you had the document and you had some lorem ipsum this is your content up here and I've actually put in a couple returns for paragraphs to show you how to add the paragraphs so everything you need for monitor changing the paragraphs is up here in the paragraph formatting controls I, I was used to CS5 where they have them over here this is actually nicer that it's all up here. <clears throat> and so what we wanted to do is create the line spacing either before or after paragraphs. And so if you have an entire section selected, you'll see that you have a lot of tools that can change a lot of the things about the paragraph. <clears throat> and as you mouse over them, it'll give you a clue what the little tool is. And so here we see the space after and space before. And this is where you can change those settings. Of course, it helps if your document is already, if it was in PICAs, you'd want to make sure that you switched it back, switched it to inches if that's what you're familiar with. Or if you are working in PICAs, keep it at PICAs. Uh, but for right now, I'll show you how to do this in inches. And you can type in, if you want, what you want as your inches. So if you want it to be, uh, let's say you want it to be half an inch, between paragraphs, that's a lot, maybe a quarter inch. You type it in, hit return, it'll automatically add that spacing. Likewise, you can just hit the up and down arrows, and it does it in increments, I think, of 0.0625. Yep. And, and, and what it does is it makes a nice return on paragraphs. You don't necessarily have paragraphs that have indentation, and instead of having a full return, which is maybe too much space in between, paragraphs you can do something that's nice and so either 0 0.0625 or even the uh, and now it's not doing it or 0 0.125 which is an eighth of an inch that's usually a pretty nice inch uh, spacing between paragraphs and it always put it below each one of your paragraphs another thing I forgot to or I stumbled on was putting in the drop cap and that's all right here too. If you look, it's right below the line spacing. So there's the drop cap, and you can decide how many letters you want it to be, or how many, I think in the assignment I accidentally wrote uh, paragraphs, how many lines you want it to be. I will fix that immediately, and that'll be in the assignment, and then it adds that. Now this adds it to every paragraph, so maybe you didn't want to do that to every paragraph. Maybe you just want to select the paragraph you want to do it for, and it's just a one-time setting and that just is something that some people do it's a a nice little out design element for for some folks that do things with letters or books you'll see that it's not an uncommon thing and then it does it automatically instead of having to manually do it so I apologize I didn't cover that better during class but that's how you do it you also see that you can turn on hyphenation and turn it off on the same paragraph setting. We'll actually do a lot more with paragraphs in uh, the third week classes and assignments. And so you'll be able to see how to be able to manage the paragraphs in the paragraph styles. And we'll also be able to uh, see that you have a tool that you can park over to the left so that you can view your paragraph styles at any time and set them over here and it becomes part of your right side palette and you don't you aren't a, you can also manage them here but sometimes there it might be a little easier to see the list on the left hand side here cuz you can pick them and we'll do we'll cover that more later so that's how you do it and sorry I didn't cover that better in the class uh, first class is kind of a long drive to get from Woodland Park down here and I think uh, I think I just drew a, a brain dump but uh, anyway that's how you do it any questions send me an email bye